Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to another Adventure Jam video. And yeah, I was kind of on the fence, should I do another Adventure Jam video or not? And, and I was kind of, uh, you know, thinking yeah, maybe two videos uh, would, would do it, but seeing as voting ends next week by the time you're watching this uh on on friday next week and <clears throat> since i apparently have something in my throat then um you know people were leaving some comments on the previous videos people have done some nice write-ups of uh, the best adventure jam game so far and there are still some gems in the jam that's an interesting phrase some gems in the jam that i haven't played yet and i really think i owe it to myself to play those um Speaking of people who've done nice write-ups, uh, Pilchert, uh, our good friend Simon Reed, who did Claude and the Phantom, a game I played in the first Adventure Jam game, uh, a video, sorry, uh, has written a nice little roundup of uh, some games that I really should try out. And uh, he's also done a little write-up of my game, which is very, very nice of him. And uh, our friend here, uh, Standoff Software, has already um, played uh, pretty much all of the games, I guess, uh, and done his... Uh, a list of 25 top games in there. There are some very, very good ones here that I haven't played. Spy Quest is one that's been uh, suggested a lot in the comments of the previous two videos. And I think I was, yeah, I'm on number seven of his list. So I'm actually above poor Simon. Oh dear, very sorry about that. Uh, Claude and the Phantom was a very, very good game. Uh, and of course I'm, I'm below Snow Spirit and uh, I Fair Lady, which were just fantastic games. Uh, so I'm really interested to, uh, to try out more of the Adventure Jam games. So this is the last Adventure Jam video. I urge you to go to the Adventure Jam page and uh, play some of these games for yourself. And of course, go and give them a rating. Now let's just see here if we wanted to give Iron Sky a rating, we would go into View Game and place a little rating down here yes this is how it works um if you are an adventure jam developer then you can also go to the jam page here and leave some ratings for the uh, um well the actual competition i hesitate to call it a competition it's not really but anyway leave some ratings here you can't you can only do this if you're you know in adventure jam if you're one of the adventure jam developers i should stop rambling and start playing some games Okay, so this is Spy Quest Chapter 1. This one has been recommended in the comments on the SQH Discord, and it has a real Sierra early 90s, maybe late 80s feel to it. Mission Spectrum. Authorities have long suspected that Spectrum Enterprises Incorporated is up to no good, but they have no proof. Investigations by the FBI have not revealed anything on toward. You are Agent N of the HCA, the highly clandestine agency. Your mission is to pose as an IRS agent to gain access to Spectrum Corporate Headquarters and to find out what they have been doing, and if necessary, stop them. Godspeed, Agent N. This is the last we'll ever see of you. Oh my freaking god, it's AGI. It's old style Sierra. We're talking mid to late 80s here. Oh, okay. you've just arrived at Spectrum Corporate Headquarters when your phone rings. It is your boss with an important question. Are you wearing pants? Agent N, your mission may be dangerous. Well, why the f- <laughs> well, if I'm a secret agent, why would you send me on like a, like a non-dangerous mission? Agent N, you're supposed to go and catch this kitty out of a tree. Call me when you're done. You may even be killed in the line of duty. Tell me, agent, are you prepared to die for your country? Select response. Ooh, I'd rather not. Or I live for danger. Fuck, we live for danger. Hard mode. That's good to know, Agent. Still be careful. Although we do enjoy watching you die, you really should try not to. Okay. So am I still in the car? Look. Car. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, it's it's not quite AGI because AGI just had the, the parser at the, the, you know, the bottom row of the screen. And I think this might even just pause the game while you're typing, which is something SCI Zero games did, Space Quest 3, for instance. So this is very, this is a very nice hot punch of uh, the best, the best that Sierra had to offer. <laughs> if you're an old fart like me, anyway. It's an inconspicuous sedan, standard issue HCA vehicle. You vaguely remember it looking more modern, but you're probably mistaken. What we should do, any good adventure game player would search the car first, because there's something probably in the glove box or something. Now we deeply regret to inform you that this program is too stupid to understand your wonderfully crafted sentence. That is, that is basically lifted out of Space Quest 3. Thank you. Thank you so much. Open glove box. 
There's nothing interesting inside. You might want to check the boot of the car instead. Thank you. I'm sure that made a lot more sense to you than it does to me. <laughs> made perfect sense. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Open door. Not while you're sitting in the car. Well, unfasten seat belts. Exit car. There you go. Okay. Which one's the back of the car? Well, I was sitting here, so this must be the back of the car. Open. I'm just going to call it a boot. Open the boot and notice that your spy kit is inside. I should probably give this a British accent because it is, it is not the trunk of the car. It is the boot of the car. Yes. Uh, what was inside? The kit? Yeah, you don't have that. Get the kit. You take your spy kit from the boot of your car and slam down the lid. <laughs> okay, open kit. What do we got? You open the spy kit. Inside you find an IRS badge, our disguise, a pair of binoculars, a USB dongle, a laptop, a GPS locator, and your trusty old notebook. Okay, so this is 80s aesthetics only. It's not actual 80s because we have a USB dongle and a laptop, neither of which existed in the late 80s. I suppose a laptop did technically exist, but they were like these huge fucking hulking... Never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should, should, am, am I wearing a disguise? Can I go into... Oh, tab does bring up my inventory. Car keys, sunglasses, binoculars, laptop, GPS locator, and notebook. What do I got in my notebook? Read. Notebook. F10 closes notebook. Okay, I've got squat in there. Not even a slice of poetry or something. Okay, Spectrum, what are you up to? This is some fucking gate this guy's got. Do 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 little hunchback on a mission. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at this car. Arden Smith, the CEO of Spectrum, definitely has good taste in cars. He drives what looks like a brand new BMW i8. Costs about four times your annual salary. You would imagine a secret agent would at least get paid handsomely for his devotion to duty. Alright, can we break into car? Break into the car. My, aren't we in a destructive mood today? Yes! He's evil! We have decided already. Oh shit, I just wanted to get up to the lake. Oh, you get the feeling you've forgotten to do something important. Well, f Some agent you are, you left your car unlocked and it was stolen. Your mission is a bust. Fuck! Okay, this time we lock the car. You make sure the car is securely locked. Better to be safe than sorry. And then... Okay, we can do shit. It's probably save my game. I have a feeling selecting hard mode is actually going to live up to its name. What did I save? Oh, it just automatically gives it a name. That's very neat. Thank you. Hey, birdie. Do not walk on grass. I fucking will do. Ooh, worm, worm, get worm. I always wanted a wriggling worm in my pants. Who do you think you are? Princess Rosella of Daventry? No, these are the wrong shoes. But you don't want to walk around with a worm in your pocket. Why not? Bang. Slam my face against the glass wall. Okay, let's see what's over here. Ooh. Ooh. A door. Perhaps I can get in door. Look, door. There's a distinct outline of a door on this wall. There's a keypad mounted on the wall beside it. Look, keypad. F6, swipe keycard. F10, look away. I'll just swipe. You don't have a keycard. Well, in that case, I will look away, good sir. Oh, and this just takes me around. Can I go through this door? Yes, I can. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Not conspicuous in the slightest. Hello. Look, receptionist. The receptionist is a beautiful woman, but she won't take crap from anyone. Give crap to receptionist. Ah, uh, look at the book. Oh, it's a magazine. Looks interesting. It's a copy of Quantum Magazine. I'll have that. Thank you. I'm just stealing shit now. What are these glass jars? Jars? J look. Table. Table has a few bottles of water on it. Get water. You have no need for bottles. I beg your pardon, sir. All right. I'm just going to go mingle with my fellow scientists. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot allow you to go in there. Please remain in the waiting area. Please lick my anus. I will do no such thing. I will go over here and piss in your plant. Ah, oh, the fucking ghost plant. Uh, piss in plant. I'm sure that made a lot more sense to you than it does. To okay, okay, fine. I'll grant you that one. Okay, let's have a chat. Stacy, talk. Can I just talk, girl? Get no response. Talk, receptionist. 
Yeah, it's a type out receptionist. I'm cool. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Would you please turn to face me? This is getting awkward. I'm Special Agent James Nelson, Internal Revenue Service. We have noticed some glaring irregularities in Spectrum Enterprises' financial reports, and I am here to do an audit. Sir, anyone can claim to be an IRS agent. If you don't have any proof, I'm going to have to shoot you. I mean, ask you to leave. Okay, well, I will show you my badge. You show the IRS badge to the receptionist. A quick look of worry flashes over her face. She picks up the phone and returns her attention to you after a quick conversation. Mr. Smith will see you now. You can call the elevator and take it up to the 14th floor to his office. I can, but I could also go and mingle with the scientist dudes. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I want to grope this person. No? Okay, cool. I'll, I'm in his face. Might as well talk to him. Get no response. Talk. Scientists? Scientists are distrusting of government agents. They do not want to talk to you. Probably has to do with me horrendously invading their personal space. <gasps> Scientists are wearing their key cards rather visibly. Maybe you can grab one off them. Maybe, but I'll probably have to sneak up on... Probably should save my game, actually. Uh, get key card. Scientists don't trust you. You can't get at their key cards unnoticed. Can I mug one of them? I probably have to uh, change into a scientist disguise first. Uh, call elevator. There must be a thing up here. Call elevator. <clears throat> there we fucking go. Uh, floor 14, please. Thank you. Let's mug a... Oh, Martin Smith greets you with the merest hint of a smile on his lips. Hmm, Agent Nelson, I presume. Stacy... I didn't even know that, but I'm fucking all right with that. Stacy informed me that you'd be coming. We'll be clearing up this minor misunderstanding with the Treasury Department soon enough. The IRS has our full cooperation, he says. And you can hear a gun click under the desk, but, uh, you know, attention to that... Can we snap his neck? Snap neck. No. Oh, off he fucks. Where are you going? Are you going to jump off? Don't do it. I was just kidding. Here, let me help you. God damn it. Mr. Smith, what about report LDC 919, page 15? Isn't there a discrepancy on line 25? You're trying my patience. Uh, bugger. Can I just steal everything in your office? What is this keypad-y thing? Smith must have a private entrance. You can see that the control panel has a keycard slot as well as a numeric keypad. Must require both a keycard and an access code to open. All right, leave your desk, bucko. I'll go back here, go back, go behind the de search desk. Search desky desky. Smith likes to keep a clean desk. There's nothing on it other than his computer. We'll use his computer then. Nothing happens. Fine, I'll come back to you later. Well, hang on a minute. I've got binoculars. Can I climb this tree and just perch myself and, uh, no? No, no, no. Climb tree. Let's not. And say we did. A line from Space Quest. Six, I believe. It's just gonna go, is that four or six? No, it's, it's four. It's four. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I forgot we're carrying around the USB dongle, so while he's up, we'll put the dongle... Put USB in computer. Ding, ding, ding. While the Spectrum CEO is admiring the view from his window, you take the opportunity to quickly plug the USB dongle into his computer. I don't know what that does, but maybe I can fuck off and use my laptop somewhere private. Maybe I'll just have a sit down here and do it in front of the receptionist. Hi, Stacy. Uh, look, laptop. This laptop allows you to review your briefing, track the GPS locator, or read out the USB dongle. Right, um, turn on computer. Um, use computer. Read USB dongle, huh? Oh, use laptop, that's how you do. There you go, I'm just standing behind the scientists looking at my Highly secret, secret agent businessy secrets. Oh, data retrieval. I shall have you insert USB. To, it, would be, it would help if you actually had the USB. Oh, I'm supposed to go and get it. Fine, fine. Hi, could you do something incriminating, please? 
Anything? Right? No? Okay. Get USB. You should do that later when it's had a good chance to record something. Okay, fine. Attach GPS to car. There we go. You definitely placed the GPS locator in the rear right wheel well. The HDA will now be able to track his car wherever it goes. Okay, so that's where we put that. I'm sure that will come in handy later. Well, there are some binders here that he seems awfully interested in, but Smith isn't about to let you near confidential materials. He does have his back turned, but maybe I need to get him out of his office somehow. I would assume that has to do with sabotaging his car and bumping my knee into a table, apparently. Now that I've attached the GPS locator, maybe I can get him to fuck off somehow. Um, open car. You unlock your car from way over here. Oh, no, 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 no. We lock that. Make sure the car is securely locked. Thank you. Uh, smash window. No. Uh, break into car. Kick tire. Well, maybe from this vantage point we can use the binoculars. Hello. Get a glimpse into the Spectrum CEO's office at an astonishing angle, by the way. He appears to be at work. Oh, so you can ask him about a ton of shit. I asked him about the binders. He said, oh, there's nothing in there you want. And the uh, uh, protagonist just said, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But apparently, if you ask him about Stacy. She just won't shut up about that bloody boyfriend of hers. I swear if I hear one more thing about his abs, I'll fire her. Well, ask about abs. <laughs> Wasting my time, Agent Nelson. Um, so maybe I should go and ask Stacy about her boyfriend. Maybe see if she wants to give him a call or something. Ask about boyfriend and spell it correctly. My boyfriend's so hot. He's like a 16-color Chris Hemsworth. I can hardly wait to see him tonight. A 16-color Chris Hemsworth, huh? No way you can compete with that. By way of consolation, you've scored a single point in the not a chance category. Oh, you cock monster. I thought I was getting somewhere, but no, I just got a pity point instead. Okay, ask about boss. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. Ask about Smith, then. His office on the 14th floor. You fuck it. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so we pretend to be scientists by opening the magazine in front of the scientists and turn to the puzzle section. If the probability of a photon passing through a detector is prime, then their frequencies might be distributed according to the Riemann zeta function, you muse. Absolutely none of that makes any sense whatsoever. Give me that, one annoyed scientist exclaims and snatches the magazine from your hand. You may suck at quantum physics puzzles, but you have certainly succeeded in distracting the scientist. All right, get me the fucking key. I can get right in his face and steal the fucking thing. There you go. Bling. With some sleight of hand, although not a whole fucking lot, you nimbly detach the keycard from the distracted scientist's lanyard. Woohoo! They haven't noticed. Right, off we scoot, finally getting somewhere. Let's go and shove that in the lock we saw outside. Ooh, with the key card in your pocket and the USB device recording the CEO's keystrokes, you should find a place to wait for an opportunity to retrieve it. Can fucking do, Squire. All right, here we go. Looking at the key card slot. Looking at the keypad. Keep what? Yeah, that thing. Swipey, swipey key card. You give the card a quick swipe and one of the indicators lights up green. Ah, uh, there's a code in it. There's a fucking code. Oh, motherfucker. I'll just go ask Stacy then. Uh, the code to Mr. Smith's private entrance. You don't seriously think he'd tell me, do you? I was kind of hoping he might. Okay, maybe, I don't, maybe I'm not supposed to go in there yet. Maybe I'm supposed to go back to my car, have a sit down. Yes, that's what we're supposed to do. You're ready for the next phase in your mission. Now there's nothing to do but wait.
So I'll just piss off over here, unlock the door, get in the car. You had forgotten how boring stakeout could be, especially when nothing happens. After what seems like an eternity, night falls. Oh, hell yeah, saving my game again. Open door. Exit car then. Get out of your car. Since you shouldn't leave your car unlocked at night, you have the presence of mind to lock. He in the first time. Sneaky fucker. Alright, let's Jiminy Jam over here and use binoculars. Or I can just Jiminy the Jam over here instead. Fine, this seems like a much better... Something is going on in Smith's office, as I'm looking the entirely wrong way. Oh, oh Smithy Smithy Poo. The powerful binoculars and your HCA training allows you to glean the code he types into the keypad. 598197, you'd better write that down in the fucking notebook or I'll be pissed. You quickly write it down in your notebook. Okay, I should just read ahead, really. Smith enters the passage that leads away from his office and comes out the other end. As you expected, Smith emerges from the side entrance and walks to the parking lot where he pees in a bush. Off he scoots. Yes, 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 yes. Time to break it in. Five nine eight one nine seven. Five nine eight one nine seven. Five nine eight five nine eight one nine seven. I can just type it in. Cool. The code you entered is correct. The doorway opens, revealing a passageway into the building that you saw just previously. So, good on fucking you. Special Projects Division A. Eh? Now, you know what? We're gonna go up to 14 first. Press the button for the executive level. The elevator moves up and stops at the CEO's office. I'm gonna get my dongle. Jiminy dongle. I love the dongle so much. Give me dongle. Get USB. You unplug the logging device from the CEO's computer. Looks like nobody noticed it. Let's hope it recorded some good intel. I love that. He just noticed that there's this thing sticking out of his USB port. There's nothing sticking out of mine, is there? No, apparently not. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now let's go to minus five. Minus five. Special projects division. You press the button for the special projects division. The elevator moves down and stops at sub level five. It's even a space quest sound effect. Oh, that is neat. Neat. Saving my fucking game here because holy shit. Uh, look, actually, let's have a look around, really. You are in a gigantic text box, a sizable hall, which appears to serve as the main entrance to the special projects division. At the back of the room are the private elevator on which you wrote down here and another elevator for non-executive personnel. There's a row of locker cabinets on one. Whoa, so that's what they are. And opposite that, the room opens up to a corridor leading deeper into the building. Can we do something with the lockers? Look, lockers. This locker has a nameplate on it that says Dr. L. Cole, the name matching your key card. Uh, use key card. Don't see any slots for the key card. Okay, so, so just open the locker. Apparently it's the honor system around here. You find the locker with a nameplate matching the name on the key card, a Dr. L. Cole, and open it. Inside it hangs an immaculate white lab coat. Could have used this a couple of hours ago, I feel. Also, nice uh, uh, reference to Lori Cole, designer of Quest for Glory. Get coach. You take the lab coat. This might be useful. Search coat. There's something in it. No, look, coat. No, scientist doesn't look like a proper scientist unless they're wearing a white lab coat. This particular one has a name tag on it with a reference that we've repeated twice, three times now, actually. Wear coat. You put on Dr. Cole's coat. Anybody would be fooled into thinking you work here. Especially with those nifty glasses that somehow turned not sunglassy at all. Saving my game again. Hello? Everyone? Hello? How's tricks? Security guard? Hey, good evening, Dr. Cole, the security guard says as he passes you and glances at your name tag. I have changed gender in the meantime since you saw me last, but apparently you don't seem to mind at all. Good on you. You give him a curt nod by way of greeting. As he walks on, you hear him mutter under his breath, I could have sworn Dr. Cole was a woman. Again, as you read ahead, perhaps this is her husband. Fortunately, the security guard isn't the brightest bulb of the bunch. A good fucking chill. Wow. 
The small corridor opened into a cavernous hall filled with a filled with strange looking equipment. You struggle to comprehend what it is you're seeing. I can't see anything. The text box is blocking my way. This monstrosity must be the dreaded Adventure Dam 2018 device. From where you are, you can't even see the entirety of the beast. The fuck? Ah, oh, oh, by the moustache of Ken Williams, what just happened? You can barely resist the nearly overwhelming urge to vomit. This must be the effect of close proximity to the Adventure Jam 2018's core. It turned CGA. Oh, God, no, no, look, controls. <laughs> you see nothing. Look, panel, do something. Turn The control panel has a huge amount of options, but you managed to find the emergency shutdown procedure rather easily. Fortunately, it's password protected. Unfortunately. Why? Couldn't it just have a big red button label stop? Uh, username? Cold. Password? Fuck off. Access denied. Okay, never mind. I'll go find one of those. Ah, thank fucking Christ. Ah, you know, one thing I should do is look. Actually, I should use my laptop and see what the dongle has to say. Yes. Agent, I wonder if I if, if I log in with the CGA palette, is, is this going to be CGA as well? I, sh I should check that out in just a tick. First of all, let's see where he went. All your high-tech tracking equipment tells you that the GPS locator is currently at a large mansion in a wealthy neighborhood in a small town to the east of here. Well, that's good, I guess. Good thing we did that. Data retrieval. You dutifully insert or plug the USB dongle into the designated USB port on your laptop. Yes, the USB dongle was able to log Smith's login credentials. You make a quick note of them in your notebook. M, M. Smith CEO and a hell of a password. Fuck you. Okay, fine, fine. Leaving, leaving. Let me just try and use the laptop while I'm in CGA mode. Nah, it's, uh, it's, it's still in. Never mind. Okay, look, panel. M. Smith CEO and... I can't look at the fucking... I, can I? Can I? No? Read? Note? Read? Notebook? No, because I'm typing. Because... Oh, God. Do I have to remember all that? I R 2 3 N comma King's Quest. Yes, that's it. The emergency shutdown is starting. And it's still CGA, the emergency shutdown does not appear to be a graceful process as the Adventure Jam 2018 device begins imploding before your very eyes, filling the air with the crackle of lightning and the hair-raising sound of twisting metal. You're still feeling sick to your stomach, now worsened due to the sickening vibrations the Adventure Jam 2018 sends out in its death throes. But something appears to be happening, I've only got 57 out of 68 points, so I probably suck at this. Oh, back to normal. The world seems to have returned to normal. Or has it? You're still feeling a little queasy. Also, I never use my sunglasses for anything. Wait, you feel something else coming on? The fuck? Wow, what's this? The world seems a lot clearer now. And you? You feel fine. In fact, one might say you feel twice as fine as you did before because we've upscaled to 320 by 200. The Diabolical Adventure Dam 2018 device lets out one final creaking noise as it finally collapses entirely. Just as it crumbles into oblivion, one final burst of color emits from it. <laughs> uh, Jesus fucking... Oh, now we're into... Oh, this is clever. You need to blink a couple of times as your eyes are no longer accustomed to copious amounts of color and subtle shading. It's a good thing you have your sunglasses still at hand. Congratulations, Agent N. You've successfully foiled the Spectrum CEO's evil plot to reduce the world to garish CGA colors. Your final score was 57 points because you suck. The main thing you missed, what was Spectrum's plan? You can find the sordid details of Smith's office after he le Oh, I forgot to read the binders. You're right. Did you ask the receptionist? Did you ask the CEO? Did you help the dead security guard? Where was there a dead security guard? Oh, well. Plenty of things to try out in this game. Very, very nice. Steven Don, you have done me proud. I don't know what you would ever do with that, uh, but uh, then again, I can also just say that you have done a very, very fine job. Um, that was fucking great. I <laughs> love the ending. Nice little twist. So, that was really, really cool. Th special thanks to Sierra Online for a legacy that inspires, inspires gamers even decades after the company ceased to be. Well, that was a lot of fun. On to the next one. 
All right, moving on to Standoff Software's Cross Purposes in widescreen and decidedly more pixels. What? Input name? All right, I will be Dixmac. Oh, there's no spaces. I can't be Dixmac McFuckface. I'll suit you. There you go. I'll just have I'll just have the longest first name in history. Create connecting. I'm now player one. Okay, fine. I'll start. Game starting in two, one. My code name is Celestine Baxley. As an agent for the Secret Service, I've had so many names, I've almost forgotten my real one. This particular mission brings me to Korea. You see, the government thought it would be a good idea to work with a mobster named Stu Wilkins to gather intelligence on a terrorist organization we couldn't get access to. He gathered the information all right, as well as information on our organization as well. Now he's selling it to the highest bidder. That's capitalism. Get in, get the documents, and get out. Well, I also need to make sure he's not arrested or killed before I get them. The last thing I need is for those documents to fall into the wrong hands, which are any hands except mine. I only got in a couple days ago, but my surveillance so far has identified a bar around Mongwon as a front for the Mafia. That's a good place to start. Well, straight into it. Let's pet some cats. The cats do not look friendly towards you. Perhaps a gift would help. Do I have any? Okay, I hacking and surveillance. Holy Christ. And a toy horse. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> She's got quite a gait on her. Yes. I don't want gold colored hands, but I could throw paint at the unfriendly cats. Okay, I, I could not then. Uh, fine. Let's. See. Oh, there's my inventory. I have a map and a toy horse. My future is looking bright already. Let's enter the bar. Holy Christ. All right. Grab the. Oh, she'd notice if you took it. How, would she notice if I just yanked on her television wires? Nope, they're far too tangled. You'd never be able to get them undone that way. Okay, I'll have a chat with you. Do you know Stu Wilkins? Do you know Stu Wilkins? I don't think so, but lots of people come in here. Incidentally, I am playing the talkie version. The developer on the website said, don't play the talkie version, because all the voices were done within the allotted time of uh, Adventure Jam, but uh, technically the the disc version is the correct one. But I thought, fuck it, let's hear some fucking voices. What's your connection with the Mafia? She just blurted I have out. No connections with them at all. This is an honest establishment. Fat fucking chance. Tell me everything you know. Let's see. The Doozen Bears have been having a good run this season. No, I mean about the Mafia, you bitch. Give me a Gibson, two onions. Ew. We don't have gin here, or vermouth. Or cocktail onions. Well, what Never mind. fucking use are you then? I'll have your lockbox. The lockbox is locked. Well, um, maybe I can hack her lockbox. Maybe I can surveil the bartender. Maybe this will get you to talk. Really? No. Okay. How about a toy horse? Maybe this will get you to talk. No. Okay. Just checking. I will hack the phone. I will surveil the phone. You bug the bartender's phone. Okay, so she would notice if you picked it up, but placing a bug on it, apparently she's fine with that. So do I just leave? Ding, ding. Anything? I will paint the horse. You dip the toy horse in the gold paint. And then I bribe her with it? gold toy horse because obviously if she's if she has a bucket of gold paint outside her bar and a toy horse that someone dropped she's gonna smell this a mile away isn't she i'm looking to sell something that was acquired less than legally or not are you now this golden horse statue is an antique taken from the national museum uh, the sure it's national museum being company. your sidewalk i'll ask around come back later can fucking do. Ding ding. Hey, it's me. Someone just came in here trying to unload some antique gold horse statue. Get in touch with Jimmy over at Mangwon. First she asked me about my mafia connections, then she it tried to hog like off. To Mongwon Market. <laughs> then she... <laughs> okay. 
I love adventure game NPCs with short-term memory loss. Hello, Les. Hello, Strudwick. And hello, Jimmy. Jimmy looks like he was drawn with the least amount of uh, care and attention, so I'll have a conversation with him first. Are you Jimmy? Depends on who's asking. Why are you in my right ear? Hello. Do you know Stu Wilkins? Hmm. No, I don't think I know anyone by that name. Nice voice he's got, though. <laughs> I know you're moving illicit goods from here. It's possible you've handled something I'm very interested in acquiring. You don't know nothing, and I ain't gonna be the one to tell you. The voice work is really good, actually. Les, do you... I'm just do gonna you ask know everyone. Stu Wilkins? Yeah, I know that no good son of a bitch. What do you know about him? Um... I love him. I will not deign to even look in your eyes as I continue to interrogate you. Have you discovered anything? I know of an alley where the Mafia often conducts business. And he just tells everyone. A new location is on your map. Thank you very much. I'll have some jerky to celebrate. It's this meat club. It doesn't appear to take money, only some special card. Ah, screw you. Do you know Stu Wilkins? Yes, he has something I need. Do you have any information on him? Uh, n apparently not, no. Have you discovered anything? There's a nearby mart that's tied in with Mafia. And new locations on- Everyone seems to know about the Mafia in, in Korea, interestingly. Do you think this vending machine with the meat inside will accept a golden horse as payment? Evidently not. Well, let's move hastily on to the mart or the alley. The alley seems like it might be a setup, so let's go there first. Break into the car. The car is unlocked, but you don't readily see anything useful inside. Well, of course, we can hack it, sure. Or, or surveil it, or okay, I won't. But I'll look in this conspicuous box, which is full of spray on chrome. So, do I just chrome the fuck out of the car? No. Message. It's some sort of code. Do I hack the code? Do I hack the car? I apparently do. I hack into the navigation system and get information about where this car has been lately. Okay, cool. Well, screw you. Oh, garbage. Always look through the garbage. Find a half full tin of salted peanuts in the garbage. I've always wanted salted peanuts. I do indeed love them. Let's go to the mart now. Uh, junction. Can I hack this? Looks like the internet connection runs through here. You could use it to hack into the Mart computer, and I shall indeed. You hack into the Mart computer from this junction. You find an email exchange about various possible contact locations for the document sale. You make note of them. Here is email info, and here is navigation info. Do I combine the two and uh, create evidence info? No. Just checking. All right, I'll go and ask him about his very suspicious activities and giant fucking snack bar. Do you know Stu Wilkins? Never heard of him. Good, I'll be out of your hair then. <laughs> I'm just accusing every everyone in South Korea is moving illicit goods. I'm I just. I know you're using this mart as a front to move illicit goods. You don't know anything of the kind. You have no hard evidence to prove it. Ah, but sir, I do. Besides my baseless accusations and me just wandering in unprotected to accuse you of, you know, high-grade felonies and all that, let me just show Maybe you this. Maybe this will get you to talk. Nope. Oh, well, worth a shot. Maybe this will get you to talk. Nope. Maybe your peanut allergy will get you to talk. Maybe this will get you to talk. Nope. Ah, just checking. Um... What's your connection with the Mafia? <laughs> the, the Mafia? I don't, I don't know anything about it. I just work at the Mart. You lie, sir. Now tell me everything. Tell me everything you know. Uh, the tuna's on sale right now. Fine. If you don't have any connections with the Mafia, I will indeed have your fancy tuna. I'll buy this tuna. Okay. And these toy badges. I'd like to buy this toy badge. Okay. <laughs> I love this. 
Hi. Hey, welcome to Kmart. How can I serve you? I hear you're in connection with the Mafia. I really am not. Maybe this will get you to talk. No, maybe this will get you to talk. No, maybe this will get you to talk. No, I'd like to buy this tuna. <laughs> I wish real life worked this way. Stay out of my trash. I will do no such thing, Mafia boy. Well, uh, tuna is an obvious hint towards the little kitty cats at the bar. So let's just go and feed them the tuna. He sold police badges? Well, it is a toy badge, but still, if that fools anyone, I'm calling bullshit. The cats happily come with you. Into the bar, I guess? Where they will cause all sorts of havoc. Give me a Gibson, two onions. We don't have gin here. Okay. Or vermouth. Or cocktail onions. Never mind. I, can I use the cat? I can use the cats on the wires. No? Fuck. Can I use the cats on the bar? Maybe this will get you to talk. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just hold up one angry feral cat or maybe this will get you to talk. Still carrying the cat? Yes. So? Hello? Would you like a cat in your trash? No? How about a cat in your tuna? Never mind. Hello, Jimmy. Police. What do you think of this? Not much. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem very authentic, does it? Ooh, ledger. Hello? Hey, stay away from that! I will do no such thing! I really, really want it. Can I hack your item for sale? Can I surveil your item for sale? You place a bug in the items. Okay, I could. Neato Torito Bevo. <laughs> Anything else, Les? Have you discovered anything? I know of an alley where the Mafia often conducts business. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? Hack the kitty. No. Oh, hey, thanks. Now I'm really thirsty. Oh, shit, the dude just wanted peanuts. Uh, and you're really thirsty? Well, have some chrome spray then. What do you think of this? Not much. Where am I gonna get something for him to drink so I can have a look at his ledger? I'll probably have to poison something. Would you like some tuna water? What do you think of this? Not much. Well, the bar's gotta be selling something. Hello? Give me a Gibson, two onions. We don't have gin here. Or vermouth. Well, you keep or saying that, onions. but... Never mind. Can you just give me a drink or any drink, please? Or I'll tangle your wires even more. Be absolutely sure I did. Maybe police Maybe badge. this will get you to talk. No. Okay, she saw right through that. Maybe the email info. Maybe this will get you to talk. No. Maybe the navigation info. Maybe this will get you to talk. No. At this point, we're just trying anything. All right. So I think I'm going to be moving on to the next game. This is it. I, I like the uh, the premise of this. A little uh, spy thriller with two extra options of surveillance and hacking. Quite enjoy that. Uh, I wish there was some way to look at uh, inventory items because uh, the email info just said there were possible locations for some sort of mafia drop off you thing. I actually had to go back and rehack the internet and get the email once again just to, you know, sort of remind myself where the fuck I was going. Um, but other than that, I really quite like this. And I do quite like the voices. Why would he tell me not to play the voiceover version? Because the voices are actually pretty good. So anyway, this is a really, really interesting game. I hope they do more with it. And uh, I hope they... Uh, um, yeah, do more with it. On to the next one. Alright, this is New Dawn, and I forgot to look up whose game it is, but... All the better! Uh, it's dark in here. Somebody have a lighter for, to find the generator? Just a second, said Howard Hansen. Handsome Howard. Ah, got it! Here we are! It lit up my butt. And I am moving Handsome Howard around with a light up his ass. Cool. What? Uh, 
Oh, better. So now let's find out why we have no... I have no idea what I just did. Apparently I just moved up to this and it was one of those, you know, Undertale kind of things where you just have to stop it in the dead center and boom. Okay, let's find out why we have no signal from the team. Let's split so it'll be faster. I have a bad feeling about it, said Line Olon. Olen. This turned a bit Norwegian. Howard Hansen. Huh? What could have happened? We are alone in the snow desert right now. Okay, said Curtis Sharp. Who's Sharper's attack? Actually, the irony is it's probably really dumb. <laughs> okay, let's check. If someone has anything, just come back here and call the others. Is this going to turn into the thing? I have a feeling it might. The helicopter pilot is just... I don't give a... Douche. They all magically disappeared, leaving Handsome Hansen. Now free of the light in his butt to wander around. Or, uh, sort of float around, really. Hello? Can I exit? I want to leave. Ah, cutlery. I shall have you, Mr. Cutlery. Or maybe a nice bottle of wine to soothe the pain. Come here. Come here. Grab bottle of wine. I'm assuming this is a single click interface because I am... Uh, there, there's no inventory on top of the screen. There's nothing else. So basically I'm just clicking on things. That is a gigantic bottle of wine though, I have to say. I guess nothing in here. Oh, hello, conspicuously high-res piece of pliers. I shall have you step all over this chair, too. Pick up the pliers. You want the pliers? You, you, you cannot have the pliers. Ah, this, it's kind of infuriating because uh, usually you're used to... Okay, I can sort of click anywhere on the screen and he'll walk as close to that as, as possible. But no, in this game, you have to click specifically on the floor where you want to go. So if I just click, you know, on this... Thing. He's not actually going to move up there. I'm going to have to sort of navigate him. Kind of. It's not really into that. Okay, I'll just keep going. I mean, these are very nice graphics, sure. I can't seem to accomplish jack shit in this. I'm very sorry to say, but I don't seem to really be go getting anywhere in it or going anywhere. I just keep going right until nothing happens, and that was indeed the time when nothing happened. All of this looks mighty interesting, but I can't interact with it in any meaningful way. And he doesn't even want to pick up the suspiciously high-res pliers. So, well, I don't see me getting anywhere in this game. So, nice graphics, a um, bit on the weak side UI style. So, on to the next one. Okay, sp Spooky time. This one's called The Basement is Calling. God help me, I love me some basement traipsing. I also love how this uh, text is very VCR 1980s style. Boom indeed. Also, oh, this is how we do. Yes, it's a first person thing. Cannot look at mirror. I'm sure that'll come alive sometime later. Uh, very missed. Very missed indeed. Nothing to fuck with here either. Ah, very nice piece of wall. I'm digging it. And a boiler. I, I seem to have some experience with those things lately. And blood. Claw marked blood. Bullet holes maybe? I don't know. Can't seem to interact with anything. So we'll just keep turning around in a circle until we get somewhere. Oh, and we're back. Maybe if I move back slightly. Now that's here. Is, is there... What, what, what am I doing? Can, can I go upstairs? I'm, I'm done. Oh, hello, lock. A key would be nice. I, I agree. A note has suddenly appeared on the mirror. Why are you here? Good question. I've been asking myself that too. Yes, I'm, I'm done reading. So I just keep spinning in a circle until shit happens, I guess. Oh, hello. <gasps> screwdriver. Love me some good old screwdriving action. I'm hearing creaking sounds. Someone has really been paying attention to sound design school. Oh, so now things... Uh, now things get into close-ups, yes. We open... Oh, God, no. Don't... Don't be a sliding tile puzzle, you creep. Um, what? 
how 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 to pay here for ah! what the fuck I solved it by accident okay thank you key I'm leaving <laughs> uh, okay ah that that's a footstep hello sorry I turned slowly what? Okay, well, I do seem to have escaped the basement. So, good on you. What was that meant to happen? I fucking hope it was. Why don't you just ask me why are you here? And then it shut me to fucking shit. Um, okay, good. On to the next one. Okay, this one is called Vermin Scourge. And I've actually been really interested to play this because it looks like... Uh, it, it looks like an FPS. And I thought, what's an FPS doing in Adventure Jam? Maybe it's a walking simulator, I don't know. But there's an ancient evil awakening in the tunnels, which is always good news. You've been overcome by a strange entity. It calls out for souls. It's hungry. The only way to stop its hunger is to resist its will and use its own corruption against it. Collect souls of different aspects to transform yourself into a threat to the entity. Press E near vents to close them. You'll need an increasing amount of souls for each one. Okay. Weapon against the Thrall. Every person needs a sidearm these days and you'll find this lightning pistol would be best run on overcharge until you know what you're dealing with. Press left mouse button to shoot. Blue energy arcs indicate a miss while a yellow... Okay. Can, can I have it? What, what, was, what was that? Oh, maybe this is the pistol. Thank you. Am I losing energy from just being near these? Oh, the frame rate's a bit stuttery. Hey, fuck you! Fuck! Hi! Ah, ah, motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you! Stop fucking touching me! I'll... I'm... I'm trapped! Cut! Cut! Am I capturing souls? Jesus H fucking Christ! Capturing rat souls! Ah, ah, get off me! Ah, this... Can I jump? Can I, can I just curb stomp these motherfuckers? You feel your body mutate as you feed on the souls of the corrupted. Leap, hold Q, jump, let go of Q. Acid spit, press F to fire a blast of acid. Cool down five seconds. Okay, look around and explore if you feel stuck. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Also, I don't seem to be able to jump. I'm feeding off your souls. Oh my god, they just keep spawning, do they? Spit unlocked. Okay, cool. Get off me, you jerky motherfucker! That is it, I'm fucking leaving. I am out. No, screw you guys. Screw you guys. The hit detection is really weird. I will spit. It said F to spit, right? Apparently that's also the... Um, uh, what? Main menu? Oh, because I died. You know what? I'm coming down where you are. Fuck you guys. I can outrun you. You feel your body mutate. Leap, hold Q. Oh shit. Screw you guys, screw you, the white bastard especially. Jump, jump! There are rats eating my ass. Leave, leave me be, sir. I'm dead. I will just hurry over here. I saw a thing I could jump up on, or I could go in here. Get off me! Oh my god, there's tons of them. This is the most imprecise gun and I can't seem to jump properly and I have to use F to vent and I'm just- My ass is being gnawed by rats. And I'm not- I don't seem to be collecting any souls. Well, this was an interesting idea. Either I, I've really started sucking since my old Quake days or this is the most imprecise weapon I've ever used in a game. So I think it's on to the next one. 
Okay, this is Where Others Lie by Hexagon Blue. Login, new game, whichever. I'm into it. Successful login. I've already solved the first puzzle. There have been zero failed attempts to log into your account recently, which is good. Always keeping my password long. As opposed to... No, just kidding. Uh, Lunatech Systems Online something something. User level 17 status confirmed. Mission control okay to proceed. The game is seeing whether it wants to allow me to play it or not. It seems to be doing me okay. Uploading mission data. Complete. Engaging direct personal speech pattern and cadence. Engaged. Greetings, user. You're successfully logged into the Lunatech system and mission data has been uploaded. We're ready to get started. Now please, come in, have a lie down. Let us probe you. Level 17 clearance allows you direct connection to the crew via their helmet HUD system. Mission priority is integration of Sebastian Carpenter into existing Emrud Theta team. Apparently he's gone off to be a mason and that's not what a person with the last name Carpenter should be doing. Use of high level Lunatech. <laughs> Lunatech, I get it. Remote marker support has been approved. The crew are still traveling. Yes, 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 yes. You're, you're being very nice. You're, you're still traveling aboard the Leviathan T1 hour to atmosphere re entry. Let's patch you in for an initial comms test and briefing. Can I open my eyes now, please? Thank you. It's a very nice title screen. But I was staring at it for quite a while. Oh, what in the blue balls is this? Honestly, I can do without babysitting duties this tour. Have you seen this mission status? Full lunatic support for the next few days. He can't even take a piss without the eye in the sky saying it's okay. FNG. At least it means he'll be on orbital shift pattern, so when the sat goes dark, we'll be able to get some actual work done. I have no idea what FNG stands for. Fuck no jigglies. Oh my smack in hell. What, what am I doing? I will remain silent. Oh, I think maybe it's just one big dialogue puzzle. Okay, the captain. All I'm saying is that I can do without fucking baggage right now. Better if he just stays out of my way until he's actually needed. Who are you talking about? Until it's time to invite a lamb to Sunday lunch at the slaughterhouse. You're pretty twisted, you know that. Okay, do I get another dialogue option? No? Glad to be of service. Uh, interrupt and c confirm link. Hi, good, good morning, Emrod Theta team. Good morning. I was just, uh, checking the link. All looks good. Green across the board. Shall we proceed to briefing? Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, very nice. The Lego-suited monsters approaching. Yes. Uh, mission overview. Well, this is it, people. We're seeing daylight on a new world. It's, um, it's a very Tron-like, circuit boardy kind of world, and why are you all shrugging at me? Show some enthusiasm, goddammit. Well, if you haven't read Mission Paramps yet, no problem if you haven't. We're out here to bag and tag whatever we find on this new rock, so get ready to put a shift in. Okay, so you're just gonna steal everything, really. I wanna see perfect logs, tight data. Don't leave anything for when you get back. Get it done, planet side. Sounds like a good philosophy to me, says the captain. Okay, safety information, let's safety first. Due to the planet rotation, we'll be out of comms regularly each night. Looking out for each other during this time is paramount. I'll screw that up pretty fast, I'm sure. When I'm linked in, as always, stay alert and in contact with each other. If you have a problem, log it and request backup. We don't need any heroes out here, understood? We need good, shrugging Lego warriors. Couldn't agree more. I want to be flying each and every one of you back alive and well. Well, except for the captain, who appears to be kind of a dick. Okay, initial tasks. Carpenter here gets to play Daddy as it's his first full mission, so make sure to refresh firmware on your suits so his planet side area slash POI naming comms through on your logs from tomorrow. It's a bit of a sentence. Unfortunately for him, HQ have assigned full lunatic support, so he'll be on strings for the first few days. Will they be dangling him over the side? That's music to my ears. Carpenter can keep the naming privileges for future missions as well as... As well, if he wants. I think that concludes everything. Okay. Carpenter, prepare your suit and equipment. You've got T5 hours till Luna will link with you and begin training. I thought he was missing, but okay. This must be the prelude. Ah, uh, we'll set up the camp beforehand and begin primary tasks. Do I get to do anything now? Emerald Theta team. 
out. Yes, I get to fade out. Well, cool. Five hours later, everyone is dead. No, there I fucking am. Comms test successful. Awaiting Lunatech interpersonal link. I like the presentation of this very much. Crewman Carpenter is awaiting initiation. <laughs> Select him now via your interface to establish cloaks and light some black candles, chanting a bit. No, not that kind of initiation. An interpersonal link. Can I bend him over a desk? Uh, crewman Carpenter. Hello. Wow. Okay. At last. Thank Luna. I can't wait to get planet side. Instruct Crewman Carpenter to leave the Leviathan. Do I have to? I want to look around this Lego world. Okay. Exit Leviathan. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mother of God, it's beautiful out here. Oh, so I am controlling the dude who got lost. The dude who got away. The sky looks so big without multi-level buildings reaching into it. Ah, I can see you up there, Luna. Glinting in the sunlight. Movement test initiated. Okay, he can actually move his legs. That's good. Single click to instruct Carpenter to walk to a selected point. Can do. Double click to instruct him to run to a selected point. Can also do. Move Carpenter southwest and enter the camp. Fine, if you like. I can barely see my uh, uh, my mouse cursor here, but... Well, there's the camp. How's everything? Oh, I like this exploring a, uh, a new world type of thing. And uh, a very, very nice presentation. Whoa! Even in this weather, the suit can really shift. Well, that's a successful movement test again. And action test initiated. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, I just have to interact with the med crate and instruct Carpenter to describe it by selecting examine. Ah. Very nice tutorial. All basic tes tests are complete. You now have control of the game. Point of interest data need to begin day one objective. Proceed back north and retrieve the latest POI data from Beasley. Right. Oh, there you are. Beasley, you beast. What's up, dude? Beasley, I've been instructed to ask you for the latest POI data. Could you upload it to my prism, please? Of course. Oh, he's an android. Uploading now. Androids don't talk like that. Prism updated with latest piece of interest data. Complete. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, stop headbanging. It's really distracting. No, thanks. That'll be all Beasley. Please don't foam at the mouth. Selecting the POI data will display the map screen. Cool. This will enable you to instruct Carpenter to fast travel to a selected POI where he can meet certain doom. Cool. Yes, updating objective. Complete. One, activate name beacon for each POI. Administer vaccine to all crew members at their respective POI. Okay. Boy, I like the presentation of this. Hey, Franco. Doing good? That's Franco Pre... Precanton, our captain with the gruff voice. Is he all right? Does he need vaccine? Better not bother him. It's gonna shoot him full of shit anyway. You doing good, Captain? I've been instructed to give you a vaccine shot. Do you absolutely have to do it now? Yes, I'm afraid so, but don't worry. It won't take more than a few seconds of me fondling your balls. Uh, okay, proceed. Fondle away. And done. That was one. Vaccine done. One, two more to go. Oh, look at the water. Can I take water? I need something to carry it in if I want to take some of it with me. I see. I see what do. It's the Lagoon Naming Beacon. We named it Lagoon. Okay, I've activated the Lagoon Beacon. Any ideas how I should name it? Be a bit cheeky. Yes. Okay. I'm going to call it Skinny Dip Shallows. Lagoon Naming Beacon Objective complete. Cool. Two more to go. Hello, Maeve. What's cooking? Hi, cat again. Hello, Carpenter. Sorry to be rude, but I really don't have time to chat right now. No problem. I will see you later, but not before I stab you with this gun. I need to give you your vaccine shot. Sure, go ahead. There we go. All done. One more to go, but let's just use the Apexy Beacon Ethernet thing first and name it something hilarious. 
let loose a little bit. How about Rocky Climax? <laughs> Let's go with that. Oh, you're such a kidder, Sebastian. Oh, got an environment scanner. What can we do? It's used to find POIs. It can also track or analyze planet wildlife, plant life, or any element, really. For example, feed it with some creature's DNA, and within seconds you can have total population, known locations, habits, and any data you can think of. So I just have to find some creature's DNA. Cool. Can't do that. Right, the anomaly beacon is activated. How on earth should I name this? Asked the eye in the sky, apparently. Let's go crazy with this one. Just hope I don't have to enter it. As it's now officially known as the downside up. Alright, done. That's all of them, I think. Yep, all naming beacon objectives completed. Cool. And I just have to shoot David here full of shit. Have a quick chat with him before we do. Unbelievable, isn't it? He's the pilot. And I'm the medic. And she's the dancer. And he's the prancer. And who knows what else we'll find on this rock, eh? Well, we'll find this vaccine gone up your ass. Got your vaccine shot here? Oh god, I'm really not a fan of these things. Ah, you'll get a lolly once you're done. Cute. Zap zap, from all the way over here. See, not so bad. Vaccine complete. Okay, that's the crew vaccinated and all the beacons named with peculiar shit. Crew vaccination complete. Day one objectives complete. All done. Return to the Leviathan at base camp. Oh well, day one objectives complete. We'll be fine. T1 hour till satellite signal loss. I think that concludes our day on Luna. It's a nice uh, conceit to, um, you know, uh, distinguish between the player and the main character. So what I actually, well, I am the guy in the sky ordering him about instead of just having this, uh, you know, this weird disconnect. I'm the player, he's the main character. He's following my every command for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, yes, he's Mara, you'll be fine, you're good. And also, uh, the next day, uh, we'll, we'll just fade out and then we'll fade back in. Not because of any, you know, laws of narrative or anything, but because we simply lose communications with him. I like those, like, small little explanations of why the adventure game works the way it does. Ten hours later. Hope you had a good snooze there, set meal boy. 0600. Audio feed connected, awaiting visual feed. Hello, Robocop. Is anyone good? Luna, are you there? Oh, it's also a plot device. Oh god, please, Luna, can you hear me? Uh, I'm here. Audio only. Is everything okay? Evidently not. Everything is so fucking far from okay, Luna. The crew didn't debrief at all last night. They told me they were going to work through the night so we could finish up earlier. Oh god, this is so fucked up. I just hid. What, did they turn into flesh-eating zombies? The sound. Visual feed connected. Objectives unknown. Receiving urgent notifications. Crewman Kadigan M. Status deceased. Crewman Hayasaki. Deceased. Crewman Prakansen F. MIA with a major injury. So our captain is off somewhere with no legs. The android Beastly is offline. And support level Leviathan inoperable. Well, that's bad. Emergency evacuation initiated. 31 hours. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Seb. Investigate Prakansen disappearance. Well, he was fucking there. He must have known. Updating objectives. And there they are. in Lego pieces. Find Prakansen. Is Lunatic having a huge joke at my expense? I can't be expected to do that. Some thing ripped Hayasaki in half and butchered Kadigan. It had the strength to put a hole in the goddamn Leviathan. And not even mentioning the fact the android couldn't stop it. Fuck this. I am off. I think I can tell him to settle the fuck down, or that he has no choice, or you can do this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be calm about this. You can do this. You might be new to this specific role, but you've been a medic for six years. There's every chance he's alive. We could save him. And by we, I mean you. I mean, I'll, I'll just be up here. We'll take it slow. Be careful. Come on, let's go, Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Oh, this went places, didn't it? I think I'm going to throw up. Can I search any of them? Probably not. She didn't stand a chance. The claw marks are huge. Well, there's her arm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that. Uh, 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 contained, obtained her severed arm. 
And that's Beasley. He's turned a bit green since last I saw him. Did they strip off his flesh or something? Looks like a ninja turtle. Looks like his recharge station was damaged, so he simply ran out of juice. Also, if I can get him back online, things can happen. Okay, that does not look good. I don't think I can fix this on my own. Let's just stick his leg in the environment scanner. Actually, I'm going to stick uh, her arm in the environment scanner. Here goes nothing. Receiving information from the scanner. One DNA match found. Ravine! Okay, let's go to the ravine, where apparently he is. Wait, wasn't it the person's other person's arm I ripped? Okay, well, this doesn't look good. Also, it was the captain's arm that I found. Um, hi. How's, how's tricks green spores? Oh, it doesn't look good. What a horrible way to go. Urgent notification. Crewman Prakenton is deceased. Yes, emergency evacuation incoming in 28 hours. No rush or anything. Investigate crew deaths. Updating objectives. Well, it looks like he's holding on to something. It's Katigan's ident card. It's got some sort of code written on it. And it says it's an encrypted POI. It will take a few hours to decrypt. Luna will update you when it's done. Beginning decryption. What is all this spore shit? Looks like some local plant life. They have a sickly green glow to them and are emitting spores. I probably shouldn't get anywhere near them. But I don't see a save or load feature anywhere, so I'll just mess with them. I need something to hold them in. Okay, fine, fine. Leaving. Okay, my objective is to find out what the guys were doing when they died. And there's a giant geocrate here. And let me guess, it needs an ident card to open. Good thing I just pulled that off the dude's rotting decomposed flesh. This is not a geocrate. I have no idea what's going on here. Unauthorized item. Well, Lunatech will investigate the unusual geocrate after safe extraction of reigning crew members in know, a week or so. Checking decryption progress on the coded POI found on Katogen's ident card. 98%, 99%. Crashed. No, oh, decomp uh, decryption completed. A new POI has been added. Let's see where this goes. This was apparently where he let out the monster. What the hell is this place? Is this alien tech? Initial scan shows buildings to be of human origin. Is that a relief? I'm not entirely sure. Where the fuck? Oh, he's facing the other way. Couldn't quite tell. Run, run, run. Facility entrance. Well, this wasn't supposed to be here, was it? Hello, everyone. What is this place? Looks like some sort of lab. I wonder if we can get any information about how this place... About this place from that terminal. Well, let's just pick up the email first. Email one. Two. Name redacted. I'm not sure what you're asking me. Can it be done? Yes. Will I do it? Not on your life. Or my life, more accurately. Fuck you for asking. Why don't you try coming down here and see if you're still so brave? The thing is alive. This thing is alive. It can see us. It knows we want to catch it. Does it have claws? Two, name redacted. I'll be clear, there is no plan B. This is it. I didn't want it to come to this, but here we are. Sedate it, kill it, catch it, hell, even fry it with this tech orbital laser for all I care. But you get cell samples to us, and then we'll talk about extraction. Understood? Sincerely yours. More logs, more logs, and a terminal. And test tubes! Oh god, three test tubes with tissue samples in them. The red and blue liquid has caused no reaction. The green liquid has caused the tissue to grow bright blink. Oh, so that must be the uh, the snot we found outside. Uh, let's have a look at some more logs. Redacted. The beacon may not seem like working when you turn it on, but it is working, or at least it will be in theory. It's, there's no way to tell, apparently. Ayahu will recognize the smallest shift pattern of the avian we found and eventually assume it as prey. It should seize its own shift pattern just before attack and that's when we can trap it. Trust me when I say, it's gonna work. But I intend to be standing back as far as possible when that thing is here. What were they looking for? Redacted. 
Captain's asked me to name it. Can you believe it? It's my first full mission, so I get name rights, even to name something like this. I'm a name it Fred, or I who, after the invisible witch that used to live behind a little door under my Nana's staircase when I was little. What? A uh, psych evaluation, everyone? She would tell me that, unless I was good and went to sleep quickly, I who would come for me in the night. Of course it scared me awake more than anything. Feels apt. Okay, so it's an invisible monster? Let's have a look at the terminal. Evidence confirmed. Illegal facility tracking a creature on this planet that has natural cloaking abilities. Good. Aim to bait and capture creature using the beacon disguised as a geocrate. Oh my god. We've just activated that beacon. It will draw the monster to the evacuation site. We're all going to die. New objective. Don't die. Eliminate the creature before the rescue team lands using the Lunatech Orbital Laser. Provide the laser with a means to lock onto it even if the creature tries to cloak. Oh, great. Easy then. Well, we're gonna need some green snot. Do we have a... a container? Something we can put it in? Oh, a chain. I'm not entirely sure what I can use this for, but it could come in handy. Um, what I really need is a bucket of... Um, or a container of some sort. I couldn't just rip off this dude's head and, you know, use it. Oh, God! Um, be careful, Carpenter. Don't get too close unless you know what you're doing with the giant monster. Laser it. Uh, examine it. Holy shit! Yeah, I should probably stay the fuck away from this thing. Um... And I need to spray it with gunk. But I can't seem to... can't seem to find a container anywhere. I have to spray it with the green gunk so it stays visible even though it's cloaked. I'll, I'll just be leaving. It seems to be doing fine here. Oh! Empty canister! It's... the hotspot is slightly off, but there it is. Ain't no way I'll be able to step on whatever that is. Maybe I can use something to reach it, though. Probably the chain. Here we go. I have no idea what he's talking about, but anyway, here goes. Gross chain. Empty canister. Cool. Now, I wonder if I should put the mushrooms in it or the water. Because he said he had to use a container to carry the water, but I, something tells me the spore mushroom thing is a bit more important. The solid spores won't be good on their own. The med gun requires canisters with liquid ingredients. All right, we've got water and we've got plants and we've got green water canister. Load that into the med gun and let's go and see if this works. Um, hello. Hi, how's tricks? Doing good? Yes, you giant Lego monstrosity. I'm gonna shoot you full of shit. If I die, tell them I was this brave throughout the mission. Like this brave. Okay, I am injecting it now with the green spore water. It seems to be awfully calm. Just don't piss it off. Well, this should light it up. Fire the laser! Nice. Did... Did it work? I would assume it did. Scanning for threat. Threat eliminated! All right! Well done, Carpenter. I'm proud of you. Let's get you out of there in... Oh, let's say 74 hours. Yes? Did I do good? Thank you for playing where others lie. Well, this was a very, very nice surprise by Hexagon Blue. Very, very, very well done. Yes, for Adventure Jet. Love the presentation, love the music, love the interface. Has nice little... um. Uh, like zap zap noises every time you hover over something that's very useful having an audio cue when you hover over a hotspot one of the hotspots was a little uh, weird but hey did, did Ben Calico just show up there or Calico Revia Ben S hmm because he's the dude who programmed the uh, UI for my Adventure Jam game you know the multiverb thing so oh well I'm gonna have to go and look at the credits again See if he was actually part of the development team. 
Well, that was Adventure Jam 2018. I'm not going to play any more of the games. Well, I, in my spare time, I, I will, but not uh, on on camera. And this was just like a short selection. The past three weeks have just been a short selection of the games that were in. There are s uh, 67 games released for Adventure Jam 2018. And uh, I, I love the shit out of it. Uh, some good, some bad, some weird, some cool, some awesome, some uh, musical. Um, I just think it's a it's a it's a fun game jam and it's um it's it's not even you know it doesn't have that competitive spirit everyone's just in there to to have fun and to make a game and uh just you know piss around have a laugh see what they can do in two weeks making a making an adventure game is not easy i mean i may joke i may uh you know laugh and scoff a bit at, at some things even when i just play uh, commercial games uh but adventure games take a lot of time to make they, they take a, a narrative drive, they take a good dialogue, they, they, you know, graphics and puzzle design. It's not easy. I mean, I'm not saying other games, uh, other game genres are particularly easy to make either. I mean, you have different challenges. You have an FPS where you have to have good weapon balancing and AI and, and all of that stuff. And with adventure games, you have to have a really solid foundation for a good narrative and you have to have a really solid understanding of puzzle mechanics and um, so it's um it's very very interesting to see what people can come up with in just two weeks sounds like a long time doesn't it but if you've never made an adventure game yourself i urge you to try and enter next year uh, when there when there will be another adventure jam because it is a lot of fun. And I always encourage anyone who wants to, to get in to... Uh, I, I, I hear that a lot from, from friends of mine who say, okay, I, I wish I could enter this, but I have no idea how to how to do it. It's super easy. No one is, is expecting you to make like a masterpiece. They just... Just anything that goes in, as long as it's, you know, creative and fun and uh, and you have a, a story to tell. I mean, look at my games from, from previous years before I had Amberly draw up the graphics. They looked awful, but I had fun doing them. Uh, so, so anyway, please, um, I have some tutorials on, on my channel for how to use Adventure Game Studio, the only tool I know how to use for making games. And it is surprisingly easy once you get into it. Once you understand the little quirks of the uh, scripting language, it is super easy to make your own adventure game. So please, I urge you, join us next year for Adventure Jam 2018. And that's about it, really. So thank you. Please like and subscribe and do whatever your kids do. Do leave me a comment, because I truly love the comments, and, uh... Thank you so much. We'll see you next year for more Adventure Jam. Uh, and we'll see you next Friday for more YouTuber Roundtable stuff. Yes. And until then, around the chrono stream. <laughs>